it's like all of a sudden Terry gets to like 130 and all of a sudden boom. Yeah. And I, I appreciate like Takaigo for sticking with his character, sticking with his gun so much. Um, Lucina's not too far off though. We're gonna be starting this game one on Pokemon Stadium 2. Yeah. Oh, not completing the. Like, energy coming through? Or does he just fell out of it? I think he just fell out of it. Huh, I've never seen that. But Game Party off to a strong lead here. Quick bit of percent. Kind yeah. of finally answering That's back. what I mean. That was just. That 33 came off like a jab into another jab. Yeah. Here you go. Now it's yeah, at 50. Like, that was just so oppressive. Mm -hmm. But here we see off stage. Pretty early percent. Ooh, I like that power dunk a lot, actually. It's gonna get him over. Good forward smash. If that was Marf, that probably would have been Pippin. Yeah, it could have definitely been, yeah. But That's what I mean. You, I mean, when you're playing, when you when you have to decide between Lucina and Marf, you can't be thinking, oh, well, that would have killed if it was Marf. Yeah. That would have killed if it was Lucina. Game Cario, unfortunately, gonna SD there. Mm, yeah. Went a little too low, but dropping right off Still, that Still, I mean, a respectable percent right now on yeah. Kaiga. Keeping him at ledge here. Getting a little aggressive. I don't think I'd have been that antsy, but it's yeah. working. And he's getting a lot of damage. He is stealing this power dunk a lot, though. That's I feel like how he's getting a lot of this damage. Gavin, I'm calming. Oh, where he's commentating. Let us finish the set. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, he, he's getting a lot of this percent off of... Uh, off of, sorry, off of yeah. power dunk. And that's going to steal it a lot. And Takaiga living at 160% yeah. still. Just needs to hit something here. Any of those special moves will definitely probably kill. Unless the power yeah. guys is really that stale. Good parry off the forward yeah, tilt. Yeah, go. definitely. It doesn't matter how stale that is. 160% across the stage. You name it. Oh, Baskins here. Hi, Baskins. Sorry I didn't notice you. We didn't have chat open at the time. We left. <laughs> Good forward smash. Kaiga just getting the good edge guard here. Yeah, I like that uh, the dancing blade to turn around mm -hmm. midair. And to stall just a little bit as well. Enough to probably get the back air. Definitely. Now he's got a. I mean, Kari's kind of got to play on the back foot here, and he's got to be very careful about how much he takes here. That yeah. Harry does have what it takes to make these comebacks, but mm -hmm. Kaiga definitely a very defensive player. He's going to try to just kind of not let like, Kari get any of that momentum. Yeah, especially. You, with Takaga having this lead, he's just like, I'm gonna let you run in at me, and I'm just gonna punish all your options. Yeah. If possible. I like that. I like that was a cute. That was yeah. a cute up smash. The rising tackle, even the charge Damn. version, not gonna be able to do it. No, but that still did a good bit of percent for 300. Yeah, that's gonna be a big shield breaker coming out. Yeah, now this is getting to the point where Harry's got to be careful because he wants to get that extra percent to get the kill options, but he doesn't want to take too much to where it's gonna be too hard to get back. That into is it. true. The, the double force the, smash in the wrong direction. He's cooking. Interesting his, option. It got he, him away from he must <laughs> be like casting like some ancient Ginkario like <laughs> magic. He might be. I noticed that Takagi is getting is noticing uh, the shield habits of Ginkario. Yeah. Here. Oh, an oh. unfortunate SD. That might be lethal. If Ginkario can kind of get the. Yeah, little bit this is not it. the situation that you want to be in right now. Oh. Well, Ginkario is playing a little close to the ledge. I don't know if I, there you go. Good grab. Oh, there's like that the, down okay, tilt. Okay, yep, there's a down tilt. Another one, yep. Another one. You gotta go low and just snap the light. There you go. Good option. Game yeah. There. The power, uh, power guys are not gonna do it. I don't know if you wanted the Buster Wolf potentially. That's gonna be bad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah game Kaiga one. That one going out. to Kaiga. A little bit of a mess near the end there, but he definitely got back into it. Yeah, I know. I mean, sometimes you just gotta go for it. You gotta dunk on your roommate sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes you mess up trying to dunk on your roommates. You it take happens. an SD, but you just get back into it, and he didn't let that affect him at the end there. Definitely. Let's see if he's cool. Now I'll pull chat up? Okay. Oh, he's watching Gumbo? Yo, Gumbo, hot take, kind of a mid show. Ooh. I don't know if you saw. He switched he to Mark. didn't see. Oh, okay. Well then. I wonder if this is gonna be it. As much of a difference for him? Yeah. But you see, st sticking with PS2, so. Ginkari definitely thinks he can do it here. Yeah, Good I parry. think. Ginkari has been getting like, like, unsur like a surprising mm -hmm. amount of parries. Especially at the start. I didn't know he had that dog in him. 
At the start of both these games, he's been doing really good, getting that quick damage in on Takaga. Mm -hmm. And then, maybe he can get something else here a bit more before Takaga racks back up. Dropping shield to get hit by the Dancing Blade. A little unfortunately, he might have wanted that parry. I feel like Takaga is calling these shields out he really is. often, but he's just a little too, off like, mark. yeah, a little too off the mark. Either he's too far away, or he waits too long, or he does it too early. Good shield on the power guys are there. Now this might be the part where it's going to be harder for Mark to get the kills. If you can't get that tipper, it's going to be like, sometimes you're not going to get that kill. Right, that was almost an insane jump call out. Yeah, and Peter, or I guess Game Cario, not getting punished completely for that. Now, drop down quarter, yep, there we go. Nice, even the south spot there is going to kill. Yeah, there's not much that uh, Terry could do. If he, even if he lived, it would just kind of be the same option, throwing back out again. There's a power back dunk. Kill? Not Just yet, barely living. Now, Team Cario, gotta look for this option here. That's not gonna be the one to do Go it. For the rising yet. tackle, not the EX version though, so it's not gonna take it. Yeah. Now he just keeps the same thing as uh, game one, racking up all the damage, but not being able to get this kill just yet. Might be he kind of has the Marf syndrome right now, where he can rack up the percent, but he can't get the kill. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that forward ooh, smash just, just barely out of the range. Barely not spacing that correctly. Game card is going to take it with a, a burn knuckle. Yeah, things kind of evening back up here a bit more now. Yeah, Game Cario game. still has a lot of percent to climb, yeah. but actually, yeah. I lied. He doesn't. Only 10 separates these two players. Ooh, and now the Kaiga. Ooh, that S smash is barely missing. Yeah. The, the Kaiga has these, like, callouts, mm -hmm. but he just is a little too... Very good F smash wow, there. Yeah, there I you like go. That. That's gonna be the downfall. If you're if you're if you're a Terry in that situation, you have to go for the charge version of that upbeat to get yourself that invulnerability, or find a way to snap to the ledge. But if you're just gonna pop up like that with no way to protect yourself, you're gonna just take an F smash down till whatever moon is thrown at you. Yeah. Now, Team Cario trying his best to get back in this year. He just needs to look for this kill early if he can keep things even. And 100, Takaiga is definitely in the range of dying to uh, something. Mm -hmm. I like the any, any, there. Anything that Terry can do. I feel like Takaiga. I, I don't know, but I feel like you could be doing Dolphin Slash Art Shield a fair bit more. Yeah, especially with how late. He's dropping some of these punishes, yeah. but good forward smash. Yeah, now Game Cario might be getting a little desperate in his head knowing he has to get this kill as soon as possible. Yeah, and we do see it, right it there, there with the power dunk. One stock apiece. But Kim Cario still got a little ways to go. Smashing out of that, almost getting the up smash. Now you got Kaiga just kind of playing safe, uh, spacing with his sword. Because he just doesn't want to get in there like that, and then all of a sudden he's going to take the jab, jab, power geyser, and it's going to be the. Definitely, yeah. This is the power dunk, right? You you, you can't lay your guard down if you're Takaga here, especially because uh, Game Cario just got his go meter. Yeah, he's mashing out of these fast. I feel, I, I feel like the Kaiga wasn't going for a throw there. He just wanted to get the damage off mm -hmm. of the pummels. Yeah, maybe he just wants to steal his throws as much, but yeah, good sliding forward tilt, good and he's gonna smash. catch that good up smash out. on the platform. Kaiga gonna be taking that one two zero. Oh. Pretty close though, honestly. Yeah, I no. Give it up to game Cario. I, I gotta give it up to game, game Cario. Game. You look at them and you see nine seeds apart, and you're like, hmm, maybe, maybe it's a wash. But no, it definitely was not.